joined by Richard Curtis. Hello. Hello. Very good Is this good your good side? Here. I'm just checking. I haven't got one. Really? Yeah, I haven't got one. When I walk away, I look okay. Good, good, good. Now, listen, can I just check? Is this true? Because we need to get the Kleenex out if it's true. Are you not going to direct anymore? Is this the truth? Uh, I think so. Bill Nye's getting very old, you know. <laughs> I think I, I have to do t too many deathbed scenes. Yeah. yeah that, the message of this movie is just try and relish every moment of your life. And, and movie making is a bit tense. Yeah, and people like Hugh Grant and Bill Nye have got a lot to thank you for. I mean, they, you put them in work for a long time. Uh, I don't know about that. They were in work before me, and I'm sure they'll work for decades afterwards. <laughs> Hugh's got so many other facets of his acting style that he's still to show. Now let me get this right, this is an anti-time travel, time travel film. Yeah, it's a movie that shows that time travel may not be as necessary as you think because it could be that you could travel all the way around history and find out that the life you're living today is about the best you can find. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want to get deep on the red carpet because it's not, it's not what we do, but there's a kind of philosophical side to this, it's about enjoying life. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a film about, you know, as I've got older, I've seen that no matter how much effort you make, you can't avoid the bad bits of life. So you should try and enjoy the good bits and laugh at the funny bits. And this is a lot about kind of going back in the past and time travel. If you could go back in time, change anything possibly, what would you change? If I could go back in time, I'd go yeah. back to 1964 and watch The Beatles. Yes. If I could change anything, it would be every item of clothing I wore between my 12th birthday and my 22nd birthday. <laughs> That's fantastic. We have to ask you about Doctor Who, because obviously you famously wrote an episode of it. Your yes. thoughts on Peter Capaldi as the new Doctor Who? I'm very excited, actually. I think he's going to be very intelligent and very wry. And I think it's quite amusing that he pretty well is Stephen Moffat, the writer. They're both Scots of a certain age. I'm, I think it's going to be great. And what about the future for you? What, what are we going to be? Doing? Definitely no more directing. Can we not twist your arms? Yeah, no. I'm going to. I'm. You know, I'm writing things. I've got a movie being shot by Stephen Daldry in Rio de Janeiro. But I think you might just notice me hanging around Hyde Park, uh, uh, looking happy a and bit more. A little more. bit in Rio occasionally here and there. Yeah, there we go. It's lovely to see you. And you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Have a good evening.